Hi, welcome to Padai Planet and we've got another question from Trigonometry. The question says that there is a triangle ABC, which is a right angle triangle at point B and it has got its sides AB and BC measuring 24 centimeters and seven centimeters. And what we need to find out is the value of sine A, cos A, sine C and cos C, right? Now let's see what this question will shape up when we have this triangle, which is ABC, right? And the question says that the point B is right angle. So here we have got point B as right angle and the sides AB and BC are 24 centimeters and seven centimeters. Now, before we attempt this question further, we need to first find out the value of its hypotenuse and that is AC. We need to find out the value of hypotenuse, right? So first let's calculate the value of hypotenuse and that's AC. And to calculate the value of AC, we will be using Pythagoras theorem because we know that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle, right? It is given that it is a right angle triangle and therefore we can use Pythagoras theorem. Now, as for Pythagoras theorem, we know that the hypotenuse, the square of the hypotenuse that is AC square is equal to AB square right plus bc square now let's put the values of ab and bc here so we have 24 square plus we have 7 square so that's like 576 plus 49 and that makes it 625 right and then we have ac is equal to square root of 625. And finally, we have it as 25 centimeter, right? Now that's why that's how we have got the value of AC and that is 25 centimeters, right? Now, we will be, uh, you know, now calculating the other stuff, which is like sine A, sine cos A and sine C and cos C. Now we already know that sine A, right? Sine A is equal to opposite, opposite upon hypotenuse, right? Now, since we are talking about sine A, so that means we are referring to this particular angle of the triangle. And that's why the hypotenuse will be this side. The reason is that the, sorry, uh, it's not hypotenuse. This is going to be the opposite of the, of the you know, um, for sine A. This is going to be the opposite. And this is considered as opposite because this, we are talking about sine A. So the side opposite to angle A will be considered as opposite. And the side next to angle A will be considered as adjacent. So this is adjacent, right? So opposite is BC here. So we will write BC, right? And the hypotenuse is AC, right? So, so this is hypotenuse. And that's equal to BC. The value of BC is seven and this is 25. Now this is our first answer, right? which we have found out. Now let us move towards the second one and that is cos A. So cos A is equal to, we, we also know the formula for cos A and that is adjacent over hypotenuse. And since again, we are referring to angle A here, we're talking about angle A. So the side opposite to angle A is considered as the opposite and the one which is adjacent to angle A is considered as adjacent for cos A, right? So adjacent upon hypotenuse is the formula for measuring cos A and adjacent is AB, right? So this is AB divided by AC and the value of is AB is 24 and this is 20 five right 
so this is how we have got the value of cos a as well right and now let's find out the value of sin c so sin c is sin c right is now that is also opposite over hypotenuse now the point is that if this is also opposite over hypotenuse and this is also opposite over hypotenuse so the value of sin a and sin c are going to be same right but yes it's not going to be same we got to be very careful when we are talking about sin a then the opposite is bc and the hypotenuse is ac but when we are talking about sin c that means we are referring to this particular angle and now this will not be opposite it will be adjacent right and this will not be adjacent this will be opposite because now the side opposite to c is a b so therefore this ratio the value of the ratio will change and now the opposite is a b right in the here the opposite was bc but here the opposite is ab we always consider opposite as the side which is opposite to the angle which we are referring angle which we are referring here right so ab over ac hypotenuse is remains same so that is ac and it is like 24 upon 25 right so this is how we have solved the we have identified the value of sin c as well and now let's find out the value of uh, we are going to find out the value of cos c now cos c is equal to again the formula for cos is adjacent over hypotenuse now very simple since we are talking about angle c so obviously this one is going to be the opposite and this one is going to be the adjacent so we are talking about adjacent here so that's like b c over a c and that's equal to bc is equal to 7 right and this is 25 right so this is how we have got the value of cos c as well right now you can clearly see that how these uh, all these values are you know different from each other but the formula remains same all of them are like you know these two are same these two and this one and then this one is also same but here we are talking about sin a we are talking about cos c here so all we need to remember is that whichever angle which we are referring to we need to consider the side which is opposite to the this angle is as opposite right this is going to be opposite and obviously this one is going to be adjacent and then simply apply the formulas right so i hope you could understand all of this and it was useful enough so keep watching these videos and i'll be coming up with more and more videos for you guys thank you so much and have a nice day bye bye